All right, my fellow TV and film lovers. You may have noticed that right in between Tyler Perry's The Family That Prays and Sing 2 is a familiar film from about 10 years ago called After Earth, number seven in the US today on Netflix. Who here has seen this film, a show of hands? After Earth stars Will Smith and his son, Jaden Smith. And while the film was highly anticipated and a big budget, it really bombed at the box office and critically. As you can see here, it only has a 12% on Rotten Tomatoes. But I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes because I have loved so many films that had terrible Rotten Tomatoes scores. And I truly believe that that site is like primarily reviewed by straight white men. And so we should be more willing to just watch and engage with things regardless of its Rotten Tomatoes score. Even though in the current consumer culture that we all live in, we typically, before we go to a restaurant, before we go to a film, we'll check to see what the aggregate review score is on Yelp, on Rotten Tomatoes, or whatever aggregator review site that we use. So despite its bad score, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna watch it. So me and my dad decided to watch this film. Essentially, the plot or the kind of premise is that people a millennium ago were forced to leave Earth. Like Earth has become uninhabitable, climate change and like human interaction has just caused the planet to no longer be survivable. And everyone now lives on Nova Prime, which is this human settlement. And Will Smith and his family are like a very prominent family on this human settlement. Now, Will Smith's character has a daughter played by Zoe Kravitz. And while Zoe Kravitz is now like an international superstar, and while she was arguably always famous because she comes from a very famous family, this was one of her early roles in her film career. I don't think the film used a lot of her talents. And the writing kind of fell into that classic trope of woman dies in the narrative in order to advance the male protagonist, you know, journey, which is sad because Zoe Kravitz is such an incredible actress. I mean, this is the genius who starred in High Fidelity, which is such a good show if you haven't seen it. Anyways, so Will Smith's character has this daughter that is killed by this monster creature. The creature called the Ursa is the main antagonist in the film the creature that killed Will Smith's daughter. Now, because of this, there's like a lot of resentment and unspoken trauma between the two characters because the younger character feels like the dad resents him for not saving the sister because he was, you know, he was a little kid, but he was kept safely inside this pod where the creature couldn't get to him. And so he feels like the dad wishes he would have tried to, you know, die saving his sister. And so there's this kind of like battle of trying to prove himself. He's like a young man coming into adulthood. And so basically in an attempt to bond, the dad takes him on a mission that ends up going awry and they crash land on the former version of Earth that is now uninhabitable because it's taken over by these, you know, crazy creatures. All right, I'm going to have to do a part two. I've run out of time.